hello guys welcome to the video and welcome to space on earth the channel where we don't miss a tweet about the space flight industry as usual there has been a lot in this past few weeks so let's dive right in so we start today's episode from starship gazer so some more qd arm shots so here we can see the qd arm um attached to the integration tower so this arm is going to be filling the booster we can see the pipes those white thing running through the arm just look at that man i gotta say this thing is huge and this thing is massive so the fuel is going to be running through this to fuel the booster up how cool is that this is insane this is insane spacex is doing an amazing job at Boca Chica, Texas. We really have to say it. If not, then who else? And also, we can see some images of the methane heat, the subcoolers. So, plumbing and everything is done, and everything looks fresh and ready to get started. Just look at that. Just look at that. Everything is so fresh and clean and also here we can see some more equipments which has been installed we can actually see the launch mount on the left and also some leeward side shot of starship 20 so looks like they've covered um a few spot off for the approaching storm so here we can see just just look at the precision and the quality build of SN20. Just take a close look at that. I think by far SN20 is the most advanced and the most beautiful Starship prototype ever made. These are the flight termination system which has, which are all covered. Just just look at that. Take a moment and just look at that. I think this is very, very, very impressive. SpaceX is determined, Elon is determined to actually make this work. And fingers crossed, I believe that SM20 will make it. And another one from Starship Gazer. So Starship 20 no stars look complete now, except for the lifting points. And no more visible stickers or blank tiles um, spots. Also, now just take a look at these heat tiles. I gotta say this is incredible this is incredible just look at the precision and then the accuracy of each tile this is this is awesome and also a liquid nitrogen truck just backed up to the cryo pipes at the orbital tank farm to offload it looks so they were um, offloading some liquid nitrogen through the pipes I don't know if they were just Flowing it to the tanks or for testing purposes, I am not sure, but that truck um, offloaded something. So it looks like some cryo fluid moving through the pipes at the orbital tank farm. So I am certain um, they offloaded something through the pipes. Now we can see some condensation right there on the pipe. So definitely some fluid was moving through those pipes. Just imagine all the plumbing that has gone down at the orbital time fan and the launch mount and the integration tower too. Just imagine all this complex plumbing. This is awesome.